Mabuhay! Ako po si Debra Garcia. Hi! I'm Debra Garcia and welcome back to another lesson where you will learn practical Filipino language in just a few minutes. This is brought to us by NAC TV, the local TV channel here in Nipua, Manitoba. We really love to hear your thoughts about our lessons, guys. So please leave your comments and suggestions below, or you can go ahead and send them directly to NACTV at WCGWave.ca. Also, please click that subscribe button below, and please don't forget to like and share this video. Our lesson for today is about self-introduction, and then we are going to learn a lot of vocabulary words for jobs, or professions, and nationalities. Do you still remember the technique I shared to you in lesson two when you are reading in Filipino? So we always read by syllable. So let's try to read these sentences. I assume that you're already good with it. So the first one is mabuhay. Sounds familiar? This is what I always say in the beginning of my video. So, mabuhay. Ako po si Debra Garcia. Ako ay isang guro. Ako ay nakatira sa Nipua, Manitoba. Ako po ay isang Pilipino. Ang aking wika o salita ay Filipino. Let us take these sentences one at a time. So, we'll start with the first one. Mabuhay. Mabuhay with an exclamation point. It means welcome or hi, hello. So, in the Philippines, we only use this word mabuhay in formal gatherings, especially when there are foreign guests and we want to introduce our language to them. So instead of saying hi or hello, we say mabuhay. But you don't use that when you meet your friends, for example, because in the Philippines, the, the uh, regular or the most popular expression when you are greeting your friends is the hi or hello, not the mabuhay, okay? Second, ako po si Deborah Garcia. I have my name here, so you'll have a clue what I'm talking about. It says, ako. Ako is I in English. So the pronoun I is ako. Si, I discussed this word in lesson two. Si is a personal topic maker. It is used to introduce a name of a person. But in this sentence, so I think in lesson two, I said, si, nanay, I... Mabusisi. See there is just the personal topic maker. But in this sentence, this word see is already being used as an auxiliary verb, am. So, ako po si Debra Garcia. I am Debra Garcia. So, it becomes an am here. Now, this word, po. We use this word when we want to be polite. So, po and opo. It's just an expression of being polite. So, ako po si Debra Garcia. You would use po when you are talking to someone you're not familiar with, like a stranger, or when you're talking to a professional, or when you are talking to someone who is older than you, you would always want to be polite. So, you will add this word po. Opo is yes, actually. The original word for this is o -o. When we say yes, we say o -o. But as I said, when you are talking to someone older than you or a professional or someone you're not familiar with, then you will use opo instead of o, -o when you want to say yes. The third one. Ako ay isang guro. Ako again means I. The personal, the personal pronoun I, and then this word I. In lesson two, I discussed this one. I said I means is or are. It's an auxiliary verb, right? So it means I. You can't use is or are. We translate this in English because your subject is I. 
then I here will become am. So I am, so is, are, am, are the same in Filipino. It's the word I. Ako ay isang. Isa means one in the literal translation. So isang guro. I am a. Isa means one. So it is an article. A. I am a. And then guro means teacher. So let's take a look at some of the professions that have Filipino translations. So if guro is a teacher, I hope you can read these because we did a lot of reading in lessons one and two. I hope you can read this, uh, read these with me. So guro, teacher. This one, sundalo. Sundalo means soldier. This one. Ingeniero. Ingeniero. It's not a popular term in the Philippines though, but I included this so that you would know that ingeniero is the Filipino version of engineer. So it is an engineer. In the Philippines, we don't use this word. We use engineer. Oh, we don't use ingeniero. This one. Ma ni nisda. Ma ni nisda. Isda means fish. So if you are a manging isda, then you are a fisherman. Next, bombero. Bombero means fireman. Okay? This one. Can you read this? It's actually the same word as in English, but we use the Filipino spelling. Doctor. Doctor is a doctor. And this one too. Nurse. We also use this spelling. It's very popular. So we use this spelling. But when we pronounce it, then we say nurse, not nurse. Okay? So this one, carpentero. Carpentero. Carpentero means carpenter. Same with the English word, right? Sounds the same. Carpentero. Police. Do you know this one? Yes. It's Police. So, police. We spell it this way. Magsasaka. Magsasaka means farmer. This one. Can you read this? It's a, <clears throat> there's a, there are two consonants here. It's t and s. It's t and then u. It's two. It sounds like ch. 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 But this one, we spell it as T and S instead of C and H. Chuper. Chuper means driver. This term is always being used for jeepney drivers. You know, jeep or jeepney is the most popular means of transportation, public transportation in the Philippines. So we have chuper. Only for jeepney drivers because if we refer to the bus drivers, we say bus drivers or taxi drivers. Chuper is just being used for jeepney drivers only. Oh, by the way, I forgot. When we have the chuper for the jeepney drivers, they always go with this one. Can you read this? Conductor. It's like conductor, but we spell it Conductor. The chuper is the one driving the jeepney and the conductor is the one collecting the fare. And they always don't sit inside the jeepney because they want to, to save the seats for the passengers. So the conductor would always be hanging at the entrance of the jeepney. So we call them conductor. Okay, this one. Can you read this? Secretaria. Secretaria. Does it sound like a secretary? Secretaria. Secret. Here. Right? We only use this term if you are an office secretary. A clerk. Something like that. So, secretaria. But if you mean secretary for an organization, for example, a Department of Health, then we don't call them secretaria for the secretary. We call them 
kalihim kalihim lihim in filipino means secret so we call them kalihim for the secretary of an organization secretaria here is just the clerical job okay next one abogado 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 is a lawyer Pari is a priest. The nuns, madre. Madre, nuns. Okay? Artista sounds like artist, right? But in the Philippines, we only meet, when we say artista, we only mean actors or actresses. Artista. For the other artists, like if you are a singer, then you will be called mang aawit. Aawit means to sing. So, and if you are a painter, for example, then you will be called a painter, not artista. You will be called a painter or an artist. But artista is just for actors and actresses. So let's go to the next sentence. Ako ay nakatira sa Nipua, Manitoba. I am residing, or maybe you can erase the, the auxiliary verb here. You can say, I live. Nakatira means live. Sa is the preposition in. Nipua, Manitoba. In Filipino, even if, for example, if I put my entire address here, my street address too, it won't change. In or at are the same so this is the word sa so i live in nipua manitoba or if i say i live at 380 topper avenue then this one won't change it's still the same the preposition sa okay next ako po ay isang filipino so ako again i po is i am being polite i is am Isang means a, the article a, Filipino. I already mentioned this, I think, in lesson one. When we say our nationality, and it's a Filipino term, we spell it with a P. The F is the English term for being a Filipino. So, it's a Filipino. Ako po ay isang Filipino. I am a Filipino. The last one, ang aking wika o salita ay Filipino. Ang is the, the article the, and then aking is my, my. Wika o salita, o means or, wika or Salita, they are the same. Language, it means language. So, my language is called Filipino. See, with an F, it's, uh, this is what we call our national language, but actually, we are using Tagalog. I mentioned that, I think, in lesson one. But we call it Filipino to refer as the national language. But that language, our national language, is actually the Tagalog language. So, my language is Filipino, or the language I use is Filipino. So, the here actually can be omitted when, when you are going to translate this in English. But since we are writing this in Filipino, you cannot start it with my. You need to put an article here. So uh, these are some of the nationalities that have Filipino translation. If you're wondering how Filipinos call Canadians in the Philippines, then it's just the same, Canadians. We don't have a Filipino term for Canadians. But for this one, can you read this? In Chick. So as I said, TS sounds like CH. So in Chick. In Chick are the Chinese people. In Chick. Hapon are the Japanese. Haponesa are the Japanese women. So 
we got this from the Spaniards. When it ends in O, for example, Koreano, it means male. Koreana, it means female. So, Hapon is Japanese. We don't say Hapono, though. It's Hapon are the Japanese male and Haponesa spells like this. Haponesa, the Japanese women. So, same with this one, Koreano are people from Korea. So, Koreano are Koreans. Koreana are Korean women. Same with Mexicano. These are the male from Mexico. So, Mexicano. Female, Mexicana. Americano from America. So, U.S. citizens are Americano or Americana. Aleman is not a common term in the Philippines. It's only being used in the books. So, Aleman actually are Germans. So, Aleman, Germans. Australiano, you have the idea, right? Australians. Indiano, the Indians. Uh, we don't say Indiana. We just say Indians for women from India. So, it's Indian. Um, also, the very popular term in the Philippines for Indians from India are, uh, they, we call them the Bumbai. Actually, I think it's a misconception. So, Bumbai is actually from the very popular place in India, which is Mumbai, right? Oh, we say Mumbai, but we call them Bumbai in the Philippines, but we mean Indians. So, Princess are French. So they are from France. English uh, sounds familiar. English. So they are from UK. England actually, but we refer them as a whole for the people from UK. We call them English. We call them British in the Philippines, but English, this one, and this one, Princess, Aleman, they only appear in books. So they are only being used in books. Okay, but for popular term, we call them French, and then English people are British. We call them British. We call them Germans. Pakistani, people from Pakistan. Espanol is uh, the term for the people from Spain. So, Espanol. Arabo are from the United, uh, from Middle East. We usually refer them as Arabo, but actually Arabo is just from Saudi Arabia. But people in the Philippines would refer Arabo as the people from the Middle East as a whole. Uh, but this one is Turco, though Turkey is also one of the countries in the Middle East, but we have a separate term for them. So Turco is for the people from Turkey and, of course, the Filipinos with the P. So that's all for today guys. I hope you learned something. Please type in your comments and suggestions below or you can send them directly to nactv at wcgwave.ca. Also please don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and please like and share this video. See you again next week. Bye!